Hello YouTubers, how are you? Welcome to my channel, I'm Andres Kindred. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. We're talking about Aweber and tags. Guys, and uh, this is probably, the, the I'm so happy guys. Uh, this is the happiest day that I've had in a while. Uh, I wanna share with you what I've learned about tags today. And uh, it's gonna get a little bit technical, so bear with me. But uh, let's jump into a campaign, okay? To to show you a little bit of uh, what's going on here. Go back. Just messing around with uh, I'm trying to get some sales funnels going on here, actually using Aweber instead of using ClickFunnels. So I'll let you guys know about that. But uh, what's cool about that is like you would actually be able to your landing page here instead of using ClickFunnels, and it's already connected. And you can actually embed i'm pretty sure you can do this from click funnels too but you know just having that membership at click funnels is like a hundred bucks a month right and if you can just do it on wave whatever and it's already connected so i will update you guys about this one but let's uh talk about uh click funnels i mean um aweber guys this is amazing guys so this is what happens guys i want to i want to tell you guys what how tags work a little bit Let's go to my list. I have an offer, right? It's called 500 per day chump change, right? You select it here in active lists. I got my other list there, but we're in the right list, right? So we're gonna go to message campaigns. Okay. Okay, guys. So first of all, don't look at this down here for now, at this copy entry. Just pretend that you only see the first one welcome because that is gonna be how it's gonna look and I'm gonna explain you what that second one is there right? but the original like this is how it's gonna be you have your campaign you have um, you have your tags here and your emails right so you have the first email with an hour second emails you can set this up we talked a little bit about that how you can actually drag and drop and create that right that's how you do it Create a message, wait. Okay, so the tax guys, how tax work? It's it's tax are. Uh, it's been such a. I mean, I, I'm just starting to understand this, guys. So I was in this chat today, and I really want to share with you guys what I learned about tax. But tax are pretty much in this case. For example, if you read here, it says camp start campaign when a tag is applied. So in this case a tag is applied, okay? But you can change that. I have that set up, it's, it, it would always, it should always be like, uh, it would say unsubscribe, okay? Um, it would say unsubscribe, okay? I will explain why that is there in a second. Um, because I did some uh, mental gymnastics here, uh, so so. But let, let's let, let's all get too confused about that. We'll talk about the the beginning tags, but the main idea is like you get your email, you wait an hour, get the second email, you set up your campaign, right? At the end, usually you add a tag so it removes the subscribers from your campaign, okay? This doesn't mean, guys, don't get confused because I was guilty of this. I got confused and I thought they would get removed from the list. That's not what happens, guys. Like your your subscribers stay on your list, okay? You're not, you're not gonna lose your subscriber unless you delete them, that's the only way. So when you say remove them, just remember, remove them from the campaign. What is the campaign? The campaign is the emails that they got, right? They got a series of emails, they got this first email, they wait one hour, then they got another one, they wait a day, another one. So it's just like a very small campaign that I had, right? So that's what's good good about having that tag. You add it, right? You go up and add it down there. It's like now if I want to send a broadcast, what is a broadcast, guys? It's like a newsletter. So after they went through that campaign, I can send me an email saying, hey, hello, how are you? Oh, I've seen that you haven't clicked on this great offer, whatever you want to be, but like you already, you're sending them an email that is more like personalized. You already know they went through the whole list, right? So the whole emails, email series. So that way you're sending that broadcast to specifically, you know, 
who to send that broadcast. We're sending them to those people only. You might be running this campaign and there's still, still maybe some people, new subscribers that you don't know. They could be subscriber as we talk right now, right? And you don't want to send that broadcast to everyone, right? So you want to send it. So that's the whole main thing about the one one thing that you can use a tag, right? That's the first thing I learned. Like, all right, cool. You add a tag at the end. Now, if I want to send a broadcast, I'll send it to the people that have gone through. So that's a very useful way to use the tag, right? All right, guys. Now let's talk about this one. What I did is like, uh, just remember, uh, just to be clear, guys, I have, I, I recommend starting with one list, okay? I started a little bit the hard way, guys. I had like three lists going on to start. Uh, I would say not necessarily the first day, but I started very, re very recent when I first got my first list that I ran my first offer. I got two more going on and it, which I just got like, oh my God, like it's just so much, guys. Start with one and know how to use one, okay? Now that I have one and I got pretty decent at knowing how to use one, even though I'm still learning a lot, what I wanted to do is like, all right, I have another campaign here. I'm gonna show you. Okay, not another campaign, guys. I'm gonna talk about another list. So this is, this, this one is, this, I have like different lists, right? What is one list called? So let me show you here. Go back to our main page. So your lists are going to be, I have four lists, right? So this is the one we're working on, 500 days chump change. That means that I have an offer on this list and I have a group of subscribers that is from that list, guys. My other list is a different list, different people, different subscribers that came from a different offer, right? And another, so that's why I just start with one list, guys. I know it sounds simple when you get into, oh, e email list, it gets pretty technical, guys. So since I had my, my chump change campaign, which is kind of short, what I wanted to do, guys, is like, I want to get, I have my main list. Let's move back to another, I'm going to move to another list, okay? Total different thing, nothing to do with the chump change one. And I have, let me show you here. I'm going to go to my campaigns. Now, if you see on top, we're in a different list now, That my ebook. If you see my campaign for this one, it has a lot of emails. That's a total separate set of emails. So what I wanted to do is like, all right, I'm going to add these emails to what I really want to do is like when that my first, the one we were talking about, right? The chump change. Um, when they go through those like three emails or like the little campaign that I have, I want them to actually boom, keep going and get the series of emails after that. But remember, this is coming from a different list of people, right? This is a different list. We've got a list here, chump change. Have this one here, ebook. Two different. What I'm borrowing, I'm borrowing these emails from here and I'm gonna paste them to that separate list. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to show you guys how to do. So how do you do that, guys? You're gonna go to the main list that you're working on, right? So let's go back here to to my list, okay? I'm gonna move again to my 500 champ per change, per day's jump change. And let's click on my campaigns again. This is the one that we were just working on to begin. So this is the campaign, right? Simple, we already talked about that, three emails. Now, I'm gonna save an exit, always brings you back to the previous screen that you were working on. That's why I told you guys don't don't look at this one yet. But what I did is like I added, I was able to add these emails from that ebook list that I want to add them to this one, right? So how do you do that, guys? You see this little thing here? It says copy to list. You're gonna go there, and then you're gonna it's gonna show you your other list, and then you just pretty much select the one you want. In my case, it was how to it was the the ebook as a intro list, okay? And when I, you copy it, boom, it's gonna appear here, right? So that's good, it's all set. Now, okay, it's not all set, guys. Now that means that I have another campaign in this list. They're not connected yet, guys, okay? So, but that's a good step, right? That's good to understand, all right, cool. So you can actually, um, you can actually copy a series of emails from whatever other list you have and put them on that, right? Now, how do we do that? How do I set them up so that they actually get that, right? 
So what you're going to have to do, guys, it's like, let's go back to my new campaign here. You click on the on the space here, right? And if you see here, I already set this up, but I'm going to show it's trigger campaign when these tags are applied. 500 champ change done, right? So remember, we were talking about the tags at the beginning, right? That was one one thing I, we created that tag is just so that I know when they finish that, right? And we talk about the broadcast. But now I'm going to use that same tag to trigger so that they get into the next campaign, right? So that's how we do this is save an exit again. You, you already have this copied here, right? So you would go and click on that campaign. And you would say replace trigger here. So originally it would say unsubscribe, right? Starts campaign unsubscribe. That's what you're going to see if you haven't touched it, right? What I did is I have to change the trigger and now which I'm going to add the 500 times from done. So that means like they're going to start the campaign or the campaign is getting triggered when the subscribers get that tag that was the call 500 change done. Boom, that's it. So you put in now, now they went through that first list, right? From the chump change one, the five emails or three emails. Then they get that tag, boom. Now this campaign is gonna get triggered when they have that tag also. And they're gonna start going through that, that campaign, right? Boom, it's gonna be a nice 20 something emails that I have on this one. So that's awesome guys, because now I have my list, my first list my first offer and that you also want to sell it's almost like you have an offer but now i'm going to try to add another offer like I'm, because it's related right we're talking about the same topic so i'm going to try to add that other offer because it's it's going to be congruent to i already that was a cpa offer that i run right it's called 500 chump change that was a cpa offer that i had going right um so it's like a make money online kind of thing right but then this one i'm gonna i'm gonna like teach him like I'm, I want to see if I can sell this new offer so I, I add this other emails right all right guys so this is the main thing guys that I learned and this is uh, amazing I was on a chat and so so I set this up right this is set up right remember when the when they get this this uh, let's go back to just to show you guys this is a little bit uh, intense here <laughs> but um when when you are in this in in uh in the campaigns right remember it might chump change one remember when when you add that end tag it removes the subscriber from the campaign that doesn't mean that they're deleted guys that means that they're just removed they went through the campaign and that's it so this new action that i took that i added that this new um this new email emails from the other campaign they still haven't got anything, guys, because they've already been removed, right? So now what we have to do is that I'm going to have to trigger those people again. I'm going to have to add a new tag so that they go through that whole thing again to that thing that they haven't really gone through. I mean, they did go through those initial five emails, right? But they don't know that I've added a, a, an integration between these two, right? So this is where this was super useful, guys. And I went to Aweber and they gave me this, this guide how to add an existing subscriber to my campaign. They exist already. They are my subscribers. They are in my list. They're not going anywhere because it's my list. They haven't got deleted. The only way they're gonna get away, guys, is if you delete them, right? Um, and what happened here is like, you're gonna go step by step. Um, you're gonna have to replace the trigger, okay? Um, in this article, we're gonna go work through uh, steps to trigger a campaign for subscribers who were added to the list before you created or activated so first first uh we're gonna replace the trigger right let's go back here um all right so so if you see here now that's when we're talking about this replace trigger it remember it used to say subscribe but now i replaced it so I'm clicking here. This is when I'm going to switch it back to normal, right? Because I'm going to actually do that. Like after I'm done with this video, I'm going to put it back on subscribe. So the new subscribers get the campaign, right? Because right now, as we're speaking, um, the campaign 
it's only I just did that so just my existing subscribers got the emails but no one is if someone subscribed me right now they're not getting anything guys so it's kind of like a little bit of a gamble I'm hoping so it's a good hope for like five minutes uh, that no one's subscribing right now but I have to do this guys so that they, these people get so this is what uh well, you know what? In fact, you know, I'm going to change it, change it right now, but I don't want to do, get confused. I, I'm, I'll do it after I'm done with the video, but I am going to go back to unsubscribe because that's what the trigger is, right? I want to, I want them to subscribe when they subscribe that I want to be that the trigger. Like once they subscribe, that is a trigger for them to go through the campaign, but I changed it to on tag. So if you see here, it says start campaign tag applied. So trigger campaigns, and then how do you do that, right? So what you do is like you go to replace trigger. As I show you guys, you will go there, and then it would say here on tag instead of unsubscribe, right? Because I am on tag right now, but so it would say on tag. And you apply that, and then you you name it. You gotta name that tag. So in my case, I named it restart 500 chump change. And you want to make sure you know exactly how you're writing this, right? the name of the tag you do that apply the tag and then you put in you're gonna go and save an exit right i'm not gonna do it in the, again because i don't want to screw it up guys but that's what you do you go and save an exit so it shows you here exactly how it looks guys you apply a tag oh jeff just added a picture there i'm gonna add, check it out in a second on the facebook group uh and by the way, guys, Jeff is the CEO of Antra, which is the best community online where I'm learning all this stuff. So if you haven't checked out Antra, just go do yourself a favor and do it right now because it's going to change your life, guys. It's, it's a little parenthesis I want to make. Um, so it will look just like this, guys. Apply tag. Then you write your tag, the name you want it. In this case, I say example. Uh, they talk a little bit. I'm not going to touch these guys. It's a little more advanced. I'm not there yet. But you create your tab, and then you're going to go to subscribers. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So now you applied, you went through that, that thing. Um, save and exit. Make sure you're on the right page. And you're going to go to subscribers. Subscribers. You're going to see all your subscribers. So what we're going to do, guys, is like you are going to select name here. So it selects all the subscribers and then it actually right now you only have selected the 20 subscribers that are in this one page. So you want to do select all 128. In my case, I have 128 on this one particular list. They are all selected, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to actions and then tag. Select tag. Right here, you're going to type in that tag that you just created, which is, this one was restart. There it is, because I already have it remembers the computer. It wouldn't remember if it's the first time, so that first time you want to make sure that you are actually um, doing it um, the right way, right? You you, you want to make sure you type in, because right now we remember, because I already did it, but if it's the first time you're typing it, you want to make sure you type in the correct. Um, I'm not going to apply it, and then you just hit apply. I'm not going to do it because I already did it, right? You apply. Um, and that's it, guys. You apply it and apply. This is what we just show you guys. Do the tag. See if I can. If you can see we're doing the same thing that I just show you guys. Subscribers, actions. Then you go tag. Write your new tag, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Once the guys apply the trigger. It will trigger the campaign depending on how many subscribers you're tagging. It might take a few moments. Um, just bulk action. You can go and have the history of, of, your, of what you've done. So that's another thing you can do in their subscriber tools, right, guys? Um, so, yes, guys, that's amazing, guys. This is, um, this is, I'm like so happy. This is an awesome, guys, to, to share this with you. So now what was going, what's happening here is like, let's go back to, to my campaign, my campaigns. So now this is going to make more sense to you guys. Now, you know, what's going on is like, they went through my original campaign. Now I was able to transfer those emails. This is a nutshell, like a little resume we just did in this video, guys. 
got my little campaign that I had set up for an offer. Then I went to another list. I borrowed that email series from that list. I copied it to the campaign that I wanted to be copied to. Now, that's one step. Now I have to set up the tag, the new tag, so that they actually connect. You gotta connect the two of them, right? So that's why we're, we're saying here, if you check on the one that I just copied, it says here, trigger campaign, when this tag, when, when they get this, this tag applied, this is not the tag that we just did to actually let the triggers know, right? This is another tag, that's it. That's the, that's the other tag that we we're talking about before where I'm connecting this too, right? So I use that original tag from the 500 chump change down here. I use that tag to trigger this new series of emails. And now it's like trigger campaign when this tag. So now I'm triggering that second list, right? So that's one step, right? And now, because we did that whole thing that I just showed you, now I was able to trigger. Now I have the whole series set up, right? I have like 30 something emails, right? They're gonna get all this like bunch of emails. Uh, um, now they are getting those because we did the whole new tag, which is in this case, um, it's called restart. It's, it's starting the whole campaign just for my subscribers that are existing in this is the restart champ change, right? Now, since we're almost finished with the trigger here, I'm gonna show you guys how to go back to normal. Now, if someone's subscribing at this moment, well, we're doing this video, guys, no one was gonna get any emails, right? So I'm gonna set it back to normal. Replace trigger, unsubscribe. Boom, unsubscribe. So let's go, someone is gonna subscribe right now. Now they're gonna get this whole set of emails, but I just had to do that little like ninja technique right there, just so that I can recuperate my subscribers and make sure, you know, because as I told you guys, when, when you add that end tag at the end, that means like in your original, let's say when you first originally set up your campaign, um, it's setting them up so so that, um, so you just, they just get those emails from that campaign and that's it. So you remember, you still have them there, they're sitting on your list, but they just been removed from the campaign, guys, not from the list. Don't get confused because I got confused. I thought I was, it was like, oh my God, this is so crazy. Uh, so thank you so much again for being here. Please subscribe and um, give this video a like. Give me some comments. Um, ask me some questions, guys. All right, guys. So have an awesome day. Thank you.